Dr. J, welcoming you back to another video. In this video, I'm not going to talk to you about IQ, EQ, SQ or the brain. I'm going to talk to you about the importance of maternal nutrition during pregnancy. What effect does your nutrition have on your baby, not only while the baby is developing in the womb, but for the entire future life of your baby when your baby has become a grown-up adult because neuroscience tells us now that the origin of adult disease has its roots in fetal life so how your baby is going to be health wise when the baby grows up to be an adult is related to what kind of a nutrition are you having and what kind of a nutrition are you providing to the growing baby now inadequate or improper or poor nutrition can lead to problems with organ development like the liver, the kidney, the spleen, so on. Uh, poor nutrition can lead to uh, uh, diabetes in your child later on in his or her life, can uh, give rise to cancer, uh, heart disease, hypertension, mental disorders, behavioral disorders, all these, the full bag of illnesses has its roots in your womb when you are nurturing the baby inside. So that is why your nutrition during pregnancy is very vital for your child's health or for your baby's health when this baby is an adult. Now just like we spoke about the critical windows of opportunities in an earlier video and where I told you that critical windows uh, for vital senses, vision, hearing, taste, touch and smell have certain specific time frames where they open and close in a particular manner and once they are closed they are difficult to open uh, and they can have a, a profound effect on, on those senses. Similarly, during the time that the baby is in your womb, there are critical periods of organ development where your baby's organs are developing in a specific manner, a specific order and a lot of this development and the functioning of these organs in your baby's future life depends on what kind of nutrition you are having and what kind of nutrition are you providing through the placenta to the fetus and to the developing organs. Now, you'd probably be surprised to know that your nutrition during pregnancy is a far more important predictor of heart disease in your child's future life as opposed to say for example genetic factors to stress to smoking or other factors or say for example your blood pressure during pregnancy is directly related to your child or your baby having high blood pressure in his or her future life Poor nutrition during pregnancy, poor prenatal nutrition of the mother can lead to a disproportionate head to waist size in your baby. Normally the babies when they're born, the head is about 25% of the size of the whole body. So if there's a disproportion between the head and the waist, that can lead to elevated levels of cholesterol in your baby's future life and with all the other corresponding uh, problems that go with ele elevated cholesterol. And all this science and all this knowledge about uh, nu your nutrition, uh, the maternal nutrition during pregnancy and its effect on the babies are all researches that are, that are coming out from some of the finest uh, uh, centers from the world. This is something not that I've made up or um, this is my belief. No, it's coming out from you know, very authentic studies. So your nutrition during pregnancy plays a very vital role in the entire life and the, uh, from the health point of view of your, of your baby uh, in the future. Now, a little uh, uh, point that I want to mention over here is about the fight and flight response that all of us know. Um, um, during 
uh, testing time during a sudden emergency or something like a fire or an earthquake um, or, 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 a, or a tornado or a volcano, you've seen how people run for their lives. That's a flight response. Or there's another thing called the fight response where your back is against the wall and you're attacked by ferocious animals. So you have nothing else to do but to fight. Now in both these conditions, what happens is there's a tremendous surge of cortisol and adrenaline in your blood. Now what that does is that suddenly diminishes the blood supply to the organs inside and sends massive amount of blood to the periphery, to the muscles, to the skeletal system because that's what you need to run or to fight. Now the same scenario, if there's prolonged stress during pregnancy while the baby is developing in the womb, what that does is that again diverts the blood supply from the organs to the periphery which means that the organs developing inside do not get adequate blood supply do not get adequate nutrition and are compromised and then as this child grows up to be an adult there'll be corresponding illnesses you know related to the kind of organs that have been affected most so my advice to all young girls who are pregnant is to really take care of your nutrition because it's being proven beyond doubt that maternal nutrition and the quality of food that you eat and the quality of uh, nutrition that goes into your baby's system lays the foundations for the health of your child for an entire lifetime. I really want you to have a wonderful pregnancy and I wish your child a very, very healthy future for the entire lifetime. Thank you.